January 2024 marked the start of my journey as a full-time YouTuber. These are the three areas of focus that I'm implementing in 2024. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Christian and I make videos about whatever I want. I'm a freelance filmmaker working in New York City and I've had this YouTube channel since June of 2008. Until recently, I have worked full time in creative marketing and production for networks like HBO and Peacock, which helps to explain why this channel has not had a ton of movement over the last few years. The entertainment industry is changing at a rapid rate with media and tech companies cleaning house as they try to make sense of these changing times. Last March, my contract with Peacock was not renewed due to a corporate restructure. With a year of looking for full-time work, I've come to the conclusion that focusing on YouTube is the best option. In this video, I'm going to go over three areas that I'm going to be focusing on to build my business in 2024. The first area of focus is YouTube. Long-form video is a dying art. Since you're watching this video on YouTube, I'd say I'm off to a pretty good start. Now, when I say I'm looking to focus on YouTube, what I really mean is that I'm focusing on the long-form side of YouTube, videos that are longer than two minutes. Most media is focused on 30-second to one-minute ads, or sometimes longer, depending on the platform that you're trying to advertise on. These ads usually cater to Facebook or Instagram. And while that length is important when it comes to traditional advertising, the media landscape is changing and we need to adapt with those times. My goal with YouTube is to post two to three times per month. You're probably thinking that that should be easy. And theoretically, yes, it should be easy to put up two to three videos per month. My style of filmmaking is polished. It takes a while to conceptualize the ideas, it takes a while to shoot them, and then it takes a while to edit them. Maybe that will change as time goes on and I learn what works for my channel and what doesn't. But right now, the focus is on high quality, long form content. And given my current schedule, I think that two to three videos per month aligns with what I'm looking for. I've learned a lot from my time in marketing. Being a creative does not mean that you get to be creative. There are corporate politics, many levels of approval, and opinions that come from multiple groups of people. As a creative, this can be extremely exhausting. YouTube allows me to create whatever I want, whenever I want. And as a creative, this can be extremely valuable. The second area of focus is posting to Instagram with intention. I would say that Instagram is my most used app when it comes to doom scrolling, but I'm not as active on it when it comes to posting. I would say that I average a few posts a month with no real direction on what it is that I'm posting. The posts can vary from a highly produced reel that I shoot in my Sony FX3 to something like taking the pictures in my camera roll and just doing a photo dump each month. Reels have definitely had the most traction when it comes to engagement on my posts, so it's definitely something I'm going to incorporate in 2024. When it comes to posting, if I can post once or twice a week, I think that aligns best with my schedule. The last thing I want to focus on is brand deals. I'd love to get to the level where brands want to partner with me. They don't have to be large budgets, just good people who trust me enough to speak about their product. That basically covers it. Those were the three areas that I'm focusing on to build my brand in 2024. Let me know down in the comments if you guys think I'm missing anything or if you have any advice on things that you're doing to help build your brand in 2024. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys think I missed anything or have any advice on what to do to build a brand in 2024. Be sure to drop this video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed for more content. See you in the next one.